So it's, uh, this year we are running the sixth edition of the Indian Ocean uh, Triathlon. For this edition, we are having some great competitors from from France, uh, European champions, former world champions also, and uh, elite top uh, triathlete from South Africa also, uh, Glenn Gore. And we are uh, having a record number of participants this year on the on the long distance triathlon, uh, and because we have uh, registered 110 participants, which is very encouraging. Participants coming from France, from Germany, from, from UK, from South Africa, from Reunion Island, uh, from Germany also, and from Mauritius. And we are very happy because uh, all these uh, passionate of triathlon are also enjoying all the travel facilities and the attraction of not only the race, but of Mauritius itself. Yeah, day before the race, I mean, we just uh, relax on the on the on the on the beach, um, catch a bit of sun, a little bit of a swim, maybe a warm up run in a cycle, just to test out the equipment, make sure it's working. But yeah, generally speaking, you just uh, chill out and you know, make sure you don't spend too much time in the sun, um, and then wait for race day. You know, that's that's probably the most important thing for for the pro guys. The amateurs, they they tend to relax a bit more than us. For them, it's just all about fun. So there's no sense in. Uh, you know, in, in hiding away, not enjoying what the island has to offer and what the resort has to offer. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty cool, pretty good, but I'm not, uh, I don't have the, the preparation and the training and the shape as uh, last year, but uh, I'm happy to be there and to to going to, to race with uh, my friend and enjoy the uh, in Maurice uh, triathlon. The first time for me in the Mauritius Island, so I'm really happy to be here. And uh, the weather is very good, and uh, the the view is amazing. So I hope it will be a, a good race, and uh, I'm, I will be uh, my, my best for for this race. The swim is a 1.8 k two loop uh, um, swim. You know, in a beautiful lagoon. I mean, that's protected by by the uh, by the reef. So there's, there's no terms of danger in terms of if you're a weaker swimmer or not. So you've got a little bit of a current in the lagoon which uh, does mix things up a bit. So for the weaker swimmers they do tend to battle in the one direction but then you speed up in the other direction. Well, the, the exciting thing first off is the swim, and uh, to swim in this crystal clean water is just such a, a privilege. Uh, we don't get clean water like this where we do our triathlons back home. I like this venue because I love that Le Morne uh, mountain in the backdrop, it's beautiful. Yeah, the triathlon is really aimed at, uh, at 
at all levels. There are a few international guys here from France uh, uh, who are top triathletes, and then it's aimed at the, the ordinary triathletes like ourselves, who are just uh, making up the numbers, as it were. We're not tri top triathletes, but uh, uh, we try our best, and so it's a real wonderful event for for everybody. Everybody can come out here and enjoy uh, four or five days in the sunshine and, and compete to the best of your ability and end up doing a really nice triathlon in the sun. And it was uh, pleasant to, to swim in the lagoon uh, with the fish and uh, every, everything. I didn't take the time to really uh, enjoy the, the view, but uh, it was nice. Always uh, very good on the on the swim, so I try to to go fast and uh, take some advance. Yes, yeah, so one of the best races I've done. Um, geez, just four hours on the plane and you're here on this beautiful island. Um, really great weather, uh, no wetsuits. It's, it's quite, a, quite an experience. I'd really recommend it to anybody, to any triathletes to come out here and compete and enjoy the day, enjoy the sun and this really great atmosphere out here. Uh, the swim during the race was uh, really, really good for me. Like usually, I'm, I really like to swim on the triathlon, so uh, I get out the, the water in the first position with uh, 2 minutes and 45 seconds of uh, advance. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, uh, we had, uh, yeah, we had uh, hot conditions. Um, as soon as I came, I came out second. And uh, you know, when you've got races like this, uh, there's, there's just honestly nothing better to actually come and compete. Uh, and then obviously uh, enjoy a holiday at the same time. That's the idea. Race hard and then uh, play a bit after. The swim is quite scenic in comparison with swims like in other countries because you pass fish and coral and all that. Yeah, fantastic uh, venue in terms of your, your swim. Um, and then we go onto the bike. And the bike is a 56k loop, predominantly easy and flat along the beach road. And then you've got one super climb called Chamorral, which is uh, all the locals who know it and those who've done this uh, triathlon before will know it. It's uh, quite, a, quite a steep climb with 15% uh, gradient in certain places. And those guys that know Tour de France will know it's a uh, serious, uh, serious gradient. So that's about the only hard part of, of the bike route. with uh, the men and uh, so it's uh, 
it's good for me because there is uh, always some somebody uh, <laughs> uh, who I see uh, in the on the bike or on the run, so uh, it's not a problem to race alone uh, uh, like a woman. <laughs> Yes, the bike. the bike course was a bit difficult for me. Uh, the, the hill at the beginning of the, the course was hard and I tried to, to keep my advance. In the cycle, um, the, the race is very hard, so uh, um, there is a big uh, hill in the first kilometers uh, and uh, it's really hard because there is the uh, sun and the, the temperature is uh, hot. Oh, I had uh, an easy swim, then I started uh, not too fast on the bike, I tried to push hard on the hill. Once you're over the top of that, you've got a nice descent down to the coastline and then it's pretty much flat uh, with a little bit of wind playing, uh, playing a factor in certain parts of the bike course. After we, we go back down and uh, it's uh, really flat, so it's uh, beautiful, really beautiful. So the kilometers uh, uh, pass really, uh, really fast. <laughs> In the men's session, we've got that Frederick Belerbe, who's an uh, ex-European uh, triathlon champion. I mean, he's one of the top guys, you know. Even though the French have come here at the end of their season, they're still competitive. And you've got, uh, got Olivier Marceau, who's an ex-world champion. I mean, that guy's been fantastic on the road. He's been fantastic on exterior. So, I mean, that guy's quality written all over him. So, you know, when you go up against a guy like that, you know, even though he might be racing at, at half pace, he's still going to be competitive. And so, from a, from a competitive point of view, a very strong European contingent, and then you've got the locals. A um, couple of Mauritian boys, youngsters, that are coming through the ranks. You know, they're on, to, on the WTS and ITU series, and uh, they use this race as a, as a stepping stone into the big time. So, all in all, you know, you're looking at the top 10, 12 guys who are really competitive, and they're after, you know, the rest of the guys are generally trying to win their age group or do PBs, that kind of thing. So, it's a competitive race. Might be island destination, but the guys race hard when the gun goes off. Uh, yes, you have to be really strong on the, on the course, on the bike course, because of the hill, the technical downhill, and uh, the really fast, uh, flat uh, road uh, in front of the beach. So there is a really nice view during all the, all the course, but uh, you don't really have the time to look at it. But it's pleasant to, to see everything and to, to race in uh, this condition. I think uh, the second, to me, uh, catch me at the, at the end of the course, but he, he was really strong on the flat road, so with his uh, time trial uh, bike, and I, it was hard for me to, to keep with him, to stay with him, so he left me uh, directly.
Yeah, I know before the race that to me uh, will come back on me uh, on the bike because he is uh, really strong at the moment. And when he catch me at the end, uh, it was hard because uh, I I didn't know uh, if I could uh, stay with him. And uh, I tried to, and I I really I was really not uh, able to to do it. So I let him go, and uh, I didn't know how many times I uh, I will. Uh, have to catch on the run. So it was a hard moment in my head. I, I, I thought the, the, race, the race was a uh, lose at this moment. Maybe um, have uh, one minute and uh, 50 seconds uh, at the end of the bike. For an athlete, I mean, it's a perfect destination and this Indian Ocean Triathlon is nothing better. It's, it's a three and a half hour flight in Mauritius, so it's as close as you ever get to an international race. And uh, like I said, I mean, it's a couple of hours out of your time and uh, you, you're in a different country. Uh, racing against top internationals, yeah, from a tourist point of view, and you've got this Luxembourg Resort, um, fantastic uh, facilities, you know, great swimming, uh, great sporting activities. So it's just perfect for uh, all around uh, tourists. You know, not to mention the, the sporting enthusiasts. The, the people are friendly, very nice, uh, always a smile, so it's, uh, it's just uh, amazing. And uh, there is a lot of the, um, things to make in, uh, in this island, and that's a very, very good place to be. For the bike, I was not uh, very far ahead the fourth one, so I had to struggle a little bit. And I did, uh, I ran as fast as I could, but it wasn't very fast actually. Yeah, when I when I start to run, I I, um, I know that uh, there is uh, about two minutes to to catch him. So I didn't uh, really think it's possible to catch him. But uh, finally, at the end of the first lap, I uh, I will back on. Uh, I was back on him with uh, 50 seconds. So. At this moment, I thought uh, it was possible if I catch him uh, 50 seconds each lap, I could uh, beat him and, uh, and win the race. But yes, it was uh, it was uh, good for the motivation. But I never know really if I could uh, beat him uh, on the run. I was a little alone in the race, so I can uh, um, make the race how I feel, so it's good for me. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the second lap on the run, uh, before the beach, I, I saw him uh, so far uh, after the, the straight line, so... I, uh, I go faster a little bit and when I catch him I say uh, come on to me and uh, he was really tired, he looked uh, he looked not uh, so easy so uh, I knew at this moment that uh, I could win and uh, he just told me uh, come on Fred and 
I, I'm not uh, I'm not living a, a very good moment at this moment. So uh, I I go and uh, I never know if he could uh, uh, follow me, but I try to to leave him and it was good. I go on the run, but I keep going, keep pushing, and finally, lap after lap, I go back on him, and I'm very happy to, to catch him and to, to win today. Very tired now, but uh, happy to be third. He said before the start, I did my best during the race. I'm not very well trained, I'm not very fit, but uh, I'm now uh, racing for pleasure. And uh, so it's a real pleasure to race here and to have holidays in the same time. Wow, it was very beautiful but very hard for me because uh, it's uh, a little uh, long for me. Uh, but the, the race is amazing, the, it's uh, wonderful and uh, the people are very great on the race. So this is a, a very good race for me. <laughs> That's my first edition so I'm sure I'm really happy. <laughs> Uh, we finished off for the run right along the beach here, so it's just as a as a place to do a triathlon can't be beaten. Well, I guess for a race you actually couldn't get a better venue. You've got the beach, you've got the sun, and I must be honest, I like to race in the sun. Well, look, you know, as, a, as, a, as an athlete, you always look to look to race in paradise. I mean, you know, Mauritius is that. You know, I had some footage where you've got the sea in the background and you've got the blue skies and the white sand, and it just doesn't come any better than that. You know, you often we race in cities and locations that aren't ideal in terms of, of scenery. So um, when you get an opportunity to race in, uh, in a place like Mauritius, you, you take it. And... So it's really nice. Ending with the palm trees uh, in the shoot was quite something. <laughs> Yeah, basically done and dusted for this year. Now, uh, yeah, we'll just relax and enjoy the, the rest of the island. <laughs> <laughs>